Well, we're just trying to bring up some of the tweets here, but um, I mean, basically, what the the crux of the argument seemed to me that on the one hand you had um, Chase is basically saying, look, society's fucked, dating is modern, dating is fucked, modern women are whatever they are, and, but we can fix it. And the thing that's going to fix it is Christianity. And if everyone turns to Christianity or the Christ pill, it's going to fix it. And then things are going to be good going forward. And what Myron's saying is, no, you've got to be realistic. The genie's out the bottle now. These girls aren't going to stop doing OnlyFans. They're not going to stop being on Instagram. They're not going to stop sugar, you know, going on yachts in Miami or whatever it is, right? They're, they're going to carry on doing that stuff. So yeah. So who's right there? Because I, I, I don't want to be a doomer here, but I, I guess I kind of am. Um, I okay. kind of think Myron's right, <laughs> you know. Like, but no, no, yeah. give them a Bible. <laughs> well, here's <laughs> the thing, only you know what? Chicks a Bible, they'll just take the God pill. It'll happen. Here's the thing: when Jesus was walking this earth, people were still sinning. Christ was here; people still rejected him. Yeah. So it's like, what, 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 what do you think you're gonna do? You think you're gonna evangelize the whole world? Okay, that'll be great. I'm all for you. I'm all for it. Let's do it. But do you really think that people are still not going to sin? Christians sin every day. Yeah. You know, Christians, 40% of pastors have admitted to either having an affair or having an emotional affair or lying on a survey about that. So it's like even the most devouted fall short. Even mm. the most devouted and the most holiest grew up. So what? it's, 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 it's very naive to think that 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 if you just spread the christianity to the world all of a sudden people are going to get it and then you got to ask yourself well what version of christianity well are you going to be spreading this evangelical you know egalitarian version of christianity that has literally cucked every man in the church yeah. well, for the, the last yeah. 40 plus years well there's that, that argument yeah there's that argument as well because obviously then you've got the issue which you've brought up about the, the way the church is currently now anyway and actually to be fair to chase he does actually acknowledge that the red pill is right about that he would say yeah the the um oh actually oh right we got some stuff up now okay wow corner bigger blessing. but We've he did some, you know so... he, he sounded like more like a simp on his little spaces last night than this patriarchal Christian man, because mm. I'm all for biblical patriarchy. Right, but this guy just... seemed more like a cuck than anything last night. Well, I mean, I, I think he's trying to present. So this is his, this is his Twitter here, so he can have a look at some of this stuff. But I think he's trying to present a more muscular form of Christianity, isn't he? He's going out there saying, "Hey, I'm a Chad." So I'm gonna, <laughs> you know, I'm a Chad. So he, he's I, so LARPing. He's trying to be the, you know, and and I I kind of I can. I kind of commend him for that in a way. I can see what he's doing. But the thing is, I just don't think it's going to reach enough scale. But what do you think, Paul? Because you've been accused of not being, you know, you're, you're Catholic and, you know, you've been accused oh, of yeah, like, I know. you know. I need to, I guess. Well, they always do bring up the stat, like couples that pray every day, um, like they don't get divorced. And every time I think I'm like, every day, you're going to sell most of the population that like they have to pray every mm. day to not get divorced. I mean, good luck. Just tough sell. That's that's my thing. I think Myron makes content for the average man. I don't think mm -hmm. most men are that religious nowadays. But, yeah, I don't think that's common. But you would know? You I don't think there's like a surplus of wives either no, that are, that are no. dying. You know, what do, what do we choose when we have the most choice at 22? Yeah, yeah. But would, you, would you say, but playing devil's advocate, would you say, but, but we should be more Christian and we should be pushing to get back towards that? Well, I don't think like my morality has anything to do with like the outcome. No. You know I mean, like, I, I would say it probably is better that way, but I yeah. don't see any indication in any indication it's going to go that way. Yeah. So it's like I, the way I feel about it, I don't think really matters, you know? Yeah, no, I, I would I would agree. I suppose, you know, I suppose what his argument is, is like, well, yeah, but if we all band together and we all make this yeah, cr good Christian. Luck. <laughs> yeah. Good luck. <laughs> yeah. Well, he's done some bangers of he's done some baggers of some tweets over the over the past few days. So let's let's go when, back and have a when look at When there's some evidence indicating that things are going that way or that the court system's changing or that women don't file for divorce and take your yeah. kid, you know, maybe we could go back, but it's like I just can't see it happening. And, and and look, people would say, well, you're a degenerate anyway. And yeah, also, degenerate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're right. <laughs> They'd say you're a degenerate and also yeah. you're you're like a doomer. And, uh, Stop uh, being a whore doomer. Yeah, well, exactly. Yeah. I'm like, well, why? We might enjoy the decline. Um, but 
so this was, I think, the thing that kicked it off. So he said, uh, red pill influencers, women with high body counts are bad. Also red pill influencers, go get laid as much as possible, sleep around with a bunch mm -hmm. of women, spin plates and avoid marriage because it's all a scam. It's degenerate, hypocritical and heavily contributes to the brokenness of our world. Take the Christ pill instead. So that was what kicked it off. And then we got this video here. Uh, I don't know. I personally, speak, you hear the I personally speak out against male promiscuity. I no, but trust one me, of the I've worst seen problems in the world is promiscuity in general. So this is I don't support dudes like sleeping with a ton of women. A lot of guys are like, if a guy has a high body count, dudes will be like, dude, nice. I just, like, I think it's degenerate. Like it's like, still like a hot girl, go for it. Like, yeah, I think it's degenerate personally. It's like contributing to the problem. With yeah, exactly. Well. A lot of influencers that are like, yeah, women with high body counts are bad, but also you as a man should go get laid as much as humanly possible. It's yeah. like, well, bro, you're literally advocating for men to contribute to the problem to, that yeah, you're calling out. Like a I personally hey, speak I have, out against male promiscuity. I have never I think one heard a red pill influencer say that men men should screw fat chicks. <laughs> okay, so they have yeah. at least no, said. I don't even say that. I mean, like, he, they I, don't I'm, say to have sex as much as humanly possible. They say to have sex as much as humanly possible with hot women. Exactly, <laughs> and that's a, that's a really important. That is a really fucking they important distinction. Say, they never hey, say to uh, go. Mind for the you, I, I always say this: like I, I I tell people to be shallow. I'll tell I tell guys all the time: like, hey, not every chick is worth your dick. So, yeah, be, be, well, be very well. That's mm -mm. that's certainly true. So then Myron claps back, and he's like, "Jesus can't save these hoes, and neither." <laughs> Can I, am, I even, am I even allowed to say that? Yeah, you can. That's so funny. That's like, the, that's like top five funniest yeah, comments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, and, and I mean, Myron's thing, been on like, fire with this stuff, isn't he? So he writes, Jesus... Myron's not wrong. No, well, Myron he, is not wrong here. So he writes, he, you can't save these 304s and neither can you. You tricons need to realize feminism is here to stay and isn't going anywhere. Adapt to the new normal or keep getting married by the church and destroyed by the state, which is a fair point, right? And then... Yeah. You know, I mean, I don't know. I mean, there's a, there's a load of this stuff. But then Bra comes or Chase comes back. You're deliberately deflecting. Stay on topic. I didn't say dudes need to be Captain Saberho. I said influencers like you are hypocritical degenerates. And this is all very pejorative language, by the way. I mean, this is all very weighted. This is all very judgmental language, isn't it? I, you know, he's not coming at this in a sort of Christ-like kind of like, well, maybe you, you know. You oh, need not to, at you, all. You know, it's very... Um, but he said, you're perpetuating the problem. You criticize female promiscuity, as do I, but then you tell men it's good to sleep with tons of women, never get married and cheat on their girlfriends and wives. You're making it worse, not building the solution. I'm not here to adapt to feminism. I'm he Oh, this is Chase. I'm not here to adapt to feminism. I am he I'm here to completely destroy it. Good the luck. one man, the one Good man. <laughs> destroyer. I, I wish you luck. <laughs> yeah. So, and then he says, feminism will only be destroyed by returning Western civilization to the state of godly patriarchy, which is how God designed the world to work. This is the solution, you know. This is the Christ and, and pill. See, I mean, in that last part, he's not wrong either. You know, I mean, they're both not wrong here in in, in their in their arguments here. Mm. What Myron was saying in the sense of like, yeah, Jesus can't save these hoes in the sense of they're not Jesus is not going to make these hoes now marriageable. They're just not going to become marriageable. At the end of the day, they're not. Well, just because they ask Jesus in, for their salvation does not make them marriageable. But also That's as well, because he, he also goes into, on one of his other tweets, he goes into this whole thing about, um, and this, this by the way, is the, the, the gotcha moment, but he goes into this whole thing about how, look, women have got all these advantages. They can, they can screw the top 10% of chads, you know, yep. birth, birth control, you know, so, so they, can, they, they can play the field for as long as they want. They can choose the best guys, blah, blah, blah. They've got, you know, all of these opportunities they didn't have. Why would they want to give that up? You know, they can make like, you know, hundreds of thousands of, of, of dollars on OnlyFans if they're if they're successful, right? Why would you want to give up that opportunity? Why are they just going to go, oh, yeah, okay, Chase, I'll take the price. Well, and even in the 20s, there was always hookers and concubines. Are you guys like... <laughs> Round here. Before that. <laughs> Round here you know, was in famous. In the Bible. Yeah, what? Even in the Bible, there's prostitutes. I mean, they've had their... Pl they've always had their I mean, place. The there's... differences were confusing them with wives nowadays, like Lena the Plug, you know? <laughs> yeah, That's the like, difference. it's ridiculous. But, you know, they've always had their place. So this is now... And by the way, anybody on, on the comments, if you can say... We need Zerka Christianity, yeah. <laughs> um, if you could just let us know if you can actually hear this or not. Um, Actually, I can't even hear that. Yeah, wait, wait, click the, wait, go back. See if the... Oh, yeah, yeah, the, yeah, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. Right there. Yeah. Okay, right. So I'm let's... Uh, screen again. This sorry. one is just where he's talking on whatever, Glenn. So this is the kind oh, of... No, this is the one where he confesses. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah so yeah, let's yeah, see yeah. what oh, he has to Just so you know what we're talking he's, about. And then the thing is, like, we're gonna, we're gonna play it really quick. Temptation. Yeah, hold on, we're going to play really Let's quick. see what he says. You're not a virgin, but you're waiting until marriage now, correct? I'm, uh... 
continuing to do my best to uh, maintain abstinence. <sighs> I mean, was there a cryptic? Hold on, hold on, I have. Uh, was I, I will say. I will chase. say. I am not above temptation. No, Chase. Yeah, dude, it's over. Oh, it's oh, over. No. It's so over. Oh, oh, it okay. is over. Did so to give people context, Chase, Bachelor days. The last. <laughs> my understanding. The last time you were on, or in previous shows you were on, you had been celibate for. Two years, two and a half three, years, three, three years, years. So three say. years. No longer. Chase, are you saying that you? Hold on, <laughs> you broke your <laughs> celibacy. Jesus, Ch Chase, I fell into temptation, bro. <sighs> Chase, oh you my god. Chase. I mean, I wonder what he's not admitting to, though. Well, what, do you, do you, are you suspicious at all? I mean, look, I, mean, I bet you half the chicks on this table wanted a piece of the action afterwards. I mean, my question is, how does one fall into pussy? <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 that's the thing. It's like, it, was, it was a Wait, conscious decision how does one, that like, he made, and he's like, "Oh, I fell into temptation." No, you didn't. You willingly chose to get into that poo nanny. Let's get it straight. Like you, you chose that shit. You're like, you know what? You had the angel and the demon over here, and he was like, "No, don't do it." And he's like, "Smash that bitch." Like, <laughs> you know, like let's be honest here. Don't think you fell into it. She didn't like poison you. She didn't hypnotize you. You dropped your drawers and you went knee deep in it and you felt bad afterwards. Just be honest. Well, I don't know if he did feel bad though. Cause like he's now after the event, he's trying to say, well, I owned it and I, you know, I admitted it and I repented and everything. But it seems like they kind of had to drag it out of him on this a little bit, didn't it? I mean, he's, he was tempted. Well, yeah, he didn't come out forthcoming. And I wouldn't either. Jason, so I, was, I wouldn't Andrew want to feel like straight out owning my yeah, stuff. Yeah, you repent, you, you, think, you, think, you think you're the only one who owns it? I, I knew I knew I'd have to own this coming on today. Let's just let's just say that because because okay, okay. he's he's just sort of like um, your celibacy. Jesus, man. Ch Chase, I fell into temptation, bro. Chase, oh you my goodness, he's, he was tempted. I mean, even that, it's not exactly a full and frank confession, is it? It's not exactly. It's like, hey, listen, guys, look, I've I've got to say, what happened was I did end up sleeping with somebody. It's it's completely against my principles. It was a one off. I deeply, you know, it's all very sort of like, oh well, I kind of fell into temptation, and he's being well, very kind of raising the well, eyebrows. And, and your and your language kind of admits because in the beginning he didn't say I'm never doing it again. He said I'm, I'm doing my best. To not fall well, into Well, yeah, yeah. How, again, how do you fall into pussy? I just don't get it. Is that Amy Dangerfield? Yeah. I have never in my life Wait. fell into it. I mean, and I've, I've had a lot. 